Good morning, North America. Privateer FX coming at you. It's a little bit of New York Open action. Euro traded down to uh, 16 today, and then we're back above 50. Market looks to be a little bit short. Euros here would not fade this. Um, we sold Euro Norway this morning. We got paid on that. We're still course short. Um, the point was 53.30, so we're just kind of using that as a resell point now. Otherwise, sterling yen, you get pinged there through 10. We've already killed it. Um, just no patience for sterling yen today. Really was not in play. Dollar yen looks pretty bad. Um, cable was just fucking around, so. We're going to call this a false break here through 10 and just move on. As far as what we're looking at this afternoon, this Aussie now is important. We're trading right at this interesting level here, 75.34, and even more interesting, 75.47. Call it 50. Um, Looks like we are getting a squeeze here, and people are going to be selling some dollars. Market's going to be get get caught short here a few dollars. So, with equities near their highs, Aussie's a likely candidate to uh, cause some pain. So, prices through 34 and prices through 50. We'll be adding to longs in this session. Otherwise, cable, we've squared our shorts, and now we're kind of neutral, although the price action is still pretty bearish, but we just took the money. Down here at 134, the figure, the low has been 92. As you can see down here, it's been probing to turn, but it just hasn't turned. So it looks like to me that it probably won't turn. Um, but we're not advising longs. Just square up your shorts and uh, move on to the next trade. Dollar Swiss, nothing going on there. Euro Swiss marginally higher today. We printed a low of 117.07, which was rather absurd considering uh, we were risk on this morning. All the way up to 117.54. No trade in Euro Swiss, but just kind of pointing it out. Um, let's talk about dollar EMS. We had a big move in Rand on the first hour up to 12.88. And now we trade it back down to 77. 75 is the bull bear pivot today. If we do get a uh, dollar sell off, 75 is your pivot. Speaking of dollar sell-offs. Nobody's selling dollars in this currency pair. Dollar Turkey. 457.30. Just ripped today. You can see the bar. Top to bottom. We're at the highs here. We didn't print one, one pip lower than the open. A lot of nervous people in Dollar Turkey. I don't pretend to understand it. I'm just pointing it out. Getting a bit exaggerated up here. If they come in and raise rates or do something silly, um, this will go sort of 800 points quickly. So if you are dabbling with this beast, be on your toes now. Keep your st Make sure your stops are in. Uh, dollar CAD, we were moderately bearish today, just like we are bullish the Oz, but really done nothing. So, for now we're just focusing on Aussie top side, 75.34 is, is your entry, and then add through 50. We basically want to see a squeeze in all the dollar pairs uh, to coincide with this as the story. Um, with the idea that a lot of Europe is out today, so we're looking for smaller ranges. So grab your pips when they're available and 
don't marry anything today. It's just sort of a low liquidity day, so we're not we're not expecting any massive moves. All right, I'll leave that. I'll leave you guys with that. Um, just watching the Aussie now, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Ciao.